Do you know the population of Chicago is 2.7 million? 2.7 million? I can't even begin to comprehend that number. And then I'm one of those people. The other day, I, I had just gotten off the L and, and I went into a coffee shop to meet some friends and, and we were sitting talking. And, and my peripheral is this girl uh, who looks to be about my age and she's just standing on the sidewalk and out of nowhere, this, this random stranger just comes up to her and, and punches her in the face. I, it just shocked me, you know, and, and it made me sad and angry and insecure. Is, is it wrong for me to feel that way? To see that happen to someone and, and put myself in that situation? Just a coffee. You know, before, before I came here, you know, I, I lived in a town of about 60,000 people, if that. The whole time I was there, all I wanted was, was this. And I counted down the days till graduation. And now I'm here and I see that. All I could think is, what would I have done? Part of me says I, I'd kick that guy's ass. You know, beat his face in. That, that I could take care of myself. Part of me wishes it would happen. That some stranger would assault me. To prove to myself that I could be here on my own or, or to let out what I pushed down. I know neither is healthy and that it's just every male's false sense of masculinity that, that conjures up this idea that you could beat anyone's ass in that situation. Sometimes I just feel this, this muddled rage, this, this disappointment, this insecurity, and I don't know why. I mean, I'm here and I'm doing what I've always wanted. My life is nowhere near bad. It just feels so vague and empty at times. Today, I, uh, I took out another loan for student debt. Right after working an eight-hour customer service job that I hate. <laughs> also, I could pay for my overpriced rent and wonder, how the fuck am I supposed to pay for insurance? Uh, I uh, ended my day lying in bed, uh, trying to sleep, and wondering what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's the joke. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> no one ever tells you it's going to be like this. You know, th that it's not what you thought it would be. That it's hard, not fun. You know, you have moments where you just want to run back to your parents and be a kid again. Just blissfully ignorant. But no, you, you got to prove yourself. Not to them or anyone else, but to yourself. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> the hard stuff, like heartbreak and death and finances, relationships, being alone, all of it. <laughs> it's tough. It sucks. But it's funny, you know, because you know why now, why people drink or, or smoke or, or have sex or become obsessed with that one TV show everyone's talking about. As much as I wish I was the guy beating the shit out of someone, I'm actually the guy getting the shit beaten out of them. I say this not to complain or, or anything, because I'm, I'm the happiest I've been in a long time. I really do like being on my own. It's just 
you have your moments. You know, your highs and your lows. And, you know, it's just like this little thought clustered in the back of your mind. It's always there. This is what it means to be an adult. The moment you're finally aware of that little thought is when you're finally an adult. All these things just cloud my mind and it just helps to let it all out, you know? Even if you're not listening, just saying it out loud Lightens the load. Just gotta take a deep breath, uh, grab a cup of coffee, and remind yourself, I'm here. I'm still here. 